All right. Good morning, everybody. We're having Whoa. some good pre chit chat, chit chat before we get on the show today, man. What's going on? Yes. Dude? Hey, it feels like a, a lifetime since I last saw you. <laughs> Nothing We've but never, good times. Seen... Nothing but good times. <laughs> we haven't seen this much of each other in, I don't know, since we were eating cereal across from each other. <laughs> 12, 12 and 16. What my brother is saying is, I'm done, dude. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided for, for that reason let's put up that disclaimer everybody I've be careful out there we're just giving you some uh information some this is for informational purposes only we are just uh giving you some good ideas some maybe ideas hopefully they're good but do your research you got to dig deeper and uh will's gonna show us some awesome stuff today man what do you got dude did you tell him that options have unlimited risk <laughs> Love that unlimited. If it's got unlimited risk, it also has unlimited upside for you. <laughs> See, nobody Crazy. ever tells you. Nobody ever tells you that part, man. Nobody yeah. ever tells you the bonus of that. If, if which you're is, on the right right side of the trade, but if you're selling options, infinity. Is it possible for a stock to go to infinity, Will, or an option? Well, I mean, look at Amazon. That's as, <laughs> that's as, or Berkshire Hathaway. Those are the ones as close to infinity as you know you can see. To but you, if you and beyond, on beyond. Uh, uh, let me. Are you see my screen? Yeah, man, we got you up. Let me just get those two uh, bullish spreads I wanted to look at in there. So you're back on Apple, man. Come on, man. Apple. I, I was looking at Apple. Yeah, I was really? looking at the Fang stocks in general. We can get into that now or wait on it. It's up to you. Can I get rid of your face? Yeah, man. Go for it, dude. Uh, you know, these fangs, in my opinion, are going to stop moving. To I mean, they've been moving down together. At some point, they're not. I, I just believe they're going to start digging into the fundamentals. And uh, some of these fundamentals are looking pretty good. You look at Apple. Uh, you know, it's it's got a dividend. You know, it's PE is reasonable, uh, very little short interest. You look at Amazon. What do you think Amazon's going to show us? Uh, what's it? What? What's it? Wait, what's the PE there at Amazon? Eight billion. It, <laughs> it's like it's like oh, it's only eighty nine. That's cheap. For but Amazon. there's 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 very little short. Uh, one thing I looked at, which was interesting, I was seeing looking for comparables things i would compare to walmart's one of them the fact that they bought uh flipkart and uh are, are in the space heavily now and their peas for when you look at you think of Am walmart basically as a retailer right uh all, also a, a high pe mm -hmm. uh facebook was the other one i was thinking about It's P starting to get to reasonable levels. I'm, there's very little short interest in any of them. So the people getting out are, are you know, it, it seems like a rotation of money. And and this money isn't going to chase, you know, these stocks on the way up. They're putting them to work in other places is is my the thesis I'm rolling around in my head. You have any thoughts on this? So thesis? how do you go down that? Uh, so that so your idea is that <clears throat> it's not short sellers. People have basically uh, got out of these, put their money into something else, and now they're going to be looking to maybe get back into them because they think well, like I've, things I've, might be coming I've, into a bottom. Well, I think I think they're going to start picking them apart, and they're going to be ones that move the next earnings cycle. I'm not talking about this trade today. I'm just starting to look at it, and uh, w ones that continue to go down. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean. Picking, picking which ones will go up is uh, a hard Who's pick. Aired? Picking which ones, will, <laughs> yeah, I think both of them are, are tough because they're you know much beloved and much hated. But I'm gonna pick the hated one, I think, for the one that I would choose to to reverse at some point, and that's the book, the book uh, which, which we, we won't speak. <laughs> yes, and uh, with that, we have a bunch of. Uh, bullish uh, call spreads we can look at with a bunch of cushion and uh, some upside. This is only till next week, but, you know, start picking at it and we can go out a month. 
next expiration cycle is probably actually that's probably too far out it's probably got some sound in the background what do you have Go. doggies 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 like stuff <laughs> he's, he's already ready ready for the holidays oh man the, <laughs> dude he literally when i go when i go in the morning to like get out let him out he literally is he's shaking he's so excited <laughs> just to get out in the yard <laughs> really he loves it so man. Fun. he is just fired up <laughs> well you you have a nice nice uh fenced in yard i mean like military style you're military ready for the walk style. 20 foot high walking. fences. <laughs> You're ready for the walking dead to appear. Absolutely. You'll get your own posse. Absolutely. I just don't I, understand walking dead, dude. I mean, come on, man. The, the zombies can't open doors, dude. Just get in a house, dude. They can't open a door, dude. <laughs> come on. It's the simplest thing well, in the they, world. What, they can't you, turn a doorknob, dude. They can't turn it, a doorknob. You know, you put enough pressure on anything and it will collapse <laughs> <They're go> <laughs> it's, it's usually it's usually mass hunger of the zombie that pushes through walls and windows come on you, you gotta understand the whole concept of the oh, well, moving wait, zombie. Wait, wait, wait. to go down the zombie apocalypse the other thing was the woman you know she had the two zombies tied to her and they never went back to that model that model worked completely all you had to do was dirty yourself up a little and have the two zombies on a chain behind you, and you were good to go forever. I mean, and she you did Matt, that for a year, and they never went back to that model. I mean, that that was man. a good model. Well, she started moving. When you start, I mean, human interaction is a big deal, right? So she was, she was living that way when she was down. It was she was by herself. Oh, you're saying because she was alone, so, she could do that by herself. But yeah, she group, she actually it would be socially unacceptable. Yeah, Dude, she you're actually had a relationship with zombies. <laughs> she had a re she had a relationship with the zombies. Human relationship <laughs> is a big deal. Have, having relations, relations are nice. Well, anyways, back to the bear side. I was gonna put. I mean, here Amazon will announce their uh, officially their two new headquarters on the East Coast, which wasn't even supposed to be. It was supposed to be a second headquarters. Right. And the whole process just reeks and uh for oh, that crony, reason crony, is this crony capitalism is this what we call crony I mean, capitalism will i mean a year yeah. a year ago when this started and all these city i mean it's it's somewhat sad for these municipalities throwing money at amazon showing them all their books show you know amazon you know basically did an in-depth research on the 50 largest metropolitan markets you know in america and got all this this free look into the structure of these cities mm. and you know if you said which two was the you know if you had to pick one and you wanted to be in the biggest markets which two are you going to pick i mean all these other places they, they never had a chance obviously i mean they didn't you know the fact that they couldn't pick a southern city or you know one city as well you know they picked two within a you know three hour train ride of each other just seems a little embarrassing, but that's not the only reason I'm going to be <laughs> short this stock today. <laughs> you know, it's just, you look at the fundamental, I mean, it is. Wait, are you saying that Amazon did something for itself rather than just for the good of the people? <laughs> well, they've never claimed to be, you know, working. I know. I like, just don't know why like are, we expect our governments to be anything other than dumb zombies walking around. Like, that's what, that's what it always surprises me. I, I I agree. I, I don't dis disagree with that. But you, you so you look at you know how this how this stock is priced, and I know Christmas could be a very good season, so be very careful. But that's the one. When I look at the fangs, I think Apple and Facebook would be the ones I would to look at from the long side, and Amazon. You know, I would look at the short side. That that's me, and really? it, it may yes. You, you have a you have something you want to throw in? Well, I, I mean, I just you know I can't. It's really, really hard, uh, even though the, the fundamentals don't make sense with Amazon, but they've never made sense with Amazon, right? Um, yeah. But it's, it's, about, it's about white space grab with Amazon. It's about being the largest distributor of everything in the world, right? And they are, and uh, by all accounts are going to continue to be. Um, and so how do you, how, how do you, how's somebody going to attack 
that very very deep and well established moat. Um, and yeah, so you, well, the, you the, see it in the PE of Walmart, right? That PE of Walmart. You look at that and you go, "That's not right. That's a grocery store." Well, the, there's a reason that's not right, and that's because they think that it's going to be the one that competes against Amazon, right? And so, yeah, I, don't know. I mean, at, at at some at some point you may have. I mean, obviously, if you're the one person in the marketplace, I mean, I'm talking, believe it or not, FAO Schwartz, the people who bought it out of bankruptcy, the private equity entity, is relaunching the brand in New York City. And their whole thing is, listen, retail retail is, you know, an experience now. And what better yeah, experience than mm-hmm. FAO Schwartz was like an experience in New York City, you know, a lifetime ago. Yep. And so they're bringing that back. And. You know, there's, I'm assuming there's a void to fill in the marketplace for toys. You know, I know for us, our little toy store in town is the only place to go if you want to go feel, touch, have your kids run around a toy store. Right. Uh, there, there's no, you know, no one's going to, a, for, for good or for better or worse, very few people are going to Target or Walmart to walk the toy aisle. It's not the mm-hmm. same experience. Yeah, uh, for so, sure. For sure. There could be opportunities there long, but you know, Amazon's got, you know, they, they could, ch- you're, you're right. They could change that PE rarely, very quickly by changing, you know, the, their pricing, they're going to have Absolutely. price control. So yeah. that's, that is the risk. Thanks for rebringing that up. I may change that. Uh, <laughs> but remember, long dude, term- I could be completely wrong. <laughs> I, may, I may change that long-term short thesis, but I, I just don't think the press they're going to announce today. So you for think, the next, you don't, you don't think it's going to be. Oh, I see. You're you're saying short next, term press are going to beat these three, guys up. This for is this. a this is a three day short spread. You know you can get a good return. There's cushion in here. Uh, hey, hey, one thing to think about is um, like I don't know where we've got that information that they've already. You know this is basically a done deal. What if they mix it up on you and it, it's totally not that? It's uh, Wichita, Kansas, and uh, then this then this spread blows out the door. So you're you think- you're. It could be a so no, so no, no, your max loss. Like people crying have. in the streets of Wichita. <laughs> oh my God, I'm <laughs> so happy, <laughs> Amazon. That 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 would be. I would view that as bullish. And you're, I'm gonna you're, make eighteen dollars an hour. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> this spread is wrong. So, are they gonna build a monorail wherever they go? I, I just. They're they're they, higher. They're they're bringing in our our boy. Uh, whiskey and weed it, to Elon's build his. Gonna come, uh, dude, anytime I know governments run amok. Is when, uh, like, I, there's an old Simpsons episode where some shyster comes into town and sells the town that they need a monorail. And they gets, like, everybody involved, like, monorail, monorail. And the, and the monorail just goes around and around in a circle. Yeah. You know, and I'm just like, anytime I see stuff like that, and, and literally, no lie, here in Costa Rica in the past, like, month, this idea of an electric train has got traction. It's like... They closed down the train service in Costa Rica 25 years ago, and they have no money. And here it's government just like, let's – you know what we really need to do to stimulate this economy? Let's put it in a train. It's like, what are you doing, dude? You know, it's incredible, man. Don't yeah. Get me, d- don't get d- me started on d- these governments, man. Uh, my <laughs> beloved Midwestern city, Detroit, uh, built a classic uh, train to nowhere. Uh, that went ar- around the city, and I think they built it to try to lure, a ca- which they did. It became the main stop, the casino. <laughs> so, you know, and that 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 was probably the telltale sign that the city was going to go. And it went on a really bad run, but uh, I think they had a rail around the city, and uh, rail, event- rail. <laughs> no, no one was getting on it. Uh, I I did see something, uh, which I always like to to show. Uh, large upside call activity yesterday after the close. It's a biotech. I always like cl- clicking on and seeing if we posted about it uh, during the day. Sure enough, that trade showed up as call volume uh, at 3:40. So you did have time to act on that. Hmm. So just you know, always if you're keeping your eye on something, always go to the post to see if uh, the chameleon gives you a little look into that unusual option activity. That's always. Good during the trading day. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to report? Uh, to uh, well, I like the name of that to, dude, Viking Therapeutics. Yeah, we we talk about that. Whoever is the marketing guru behind the naming of the 
biotech companies and the drug companies really they do their homework so it's a good, uh, you know it, it works uh like oh, what does that Goldman. make you feel dude what does that make you feel strong like a, right? like like a this, I, I don't yeah. know what they're selling but i'm gonna feel like they, if they were in the uh the steroid space i'd be like dang that is a good name that is a yeah. good name <laughs> You need st- after fifty. You need steroids to keep your manhood alive. You do. That's what they say. Steroids That's supposedly they... aren't even that bad for you. Like you've blown that out of the proportion. But you know, soon enough, everything will be legal. <laughs> so, uh, Gold- Goldman Sachs is a in the news. It's been in the news for a couple weeks now. But it, you know, at some point, keep your eye on this. I put uh, the news is that <clears throat> they're they're being looked into as, as a direct part of a, a scheme that milked the Malaysian government out of billions of dollars from their uh, uh, government uh, pension fund. Oh. And uh, is that illegal? <laughs> that would that wouldn't that wouldn't be good. They have implicated a couple. And it, it's debatable whether they're actually Goldman employees or just, you know, contractors. But we'll see how it plays out. And was that like uh, just fees and stuff for management of money or what was the uh no this 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 was absolute one of the the quote-unquote bankers actually just sucked money into his own account it was outright fraud so they they may have to make some sort of restitution it it certainly doesn't look good you know as any of these investment banks you know the the biggest problem with investment banks is they operate both sides of the situation right they'll put together a a package of investable products and then trade the other side so that is uh you know the typical way they actually they and then they trade against them uh which is is legal this was outright fraud uh money was pulled and just grabbed sent money. into other, other accounts yeah. yeah but i mean listen Gold, goldman everyone wants goldman's advice and when this blows over so i was looking at just today uh the risk reversal Actually, we put in a new selection here because uh, it wasn't marketing it right, so I didn't know what type of trade I put in. So this, this is short the 25 delta, put long the call. I'm just gonna track it. Uh, so I'm gonna add that to the watch list. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna pick bullish on Goldman today. It's probably too early, but but keep an eye on it. There may be time to dip in with a bullish spread. Search for that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to report. It can be the last thing of the day, if you like. But uh, Boeing in the news again. When we first talked about Boeing, obviously it was the yeah, it was horrific that, that crash. Mm-hmm. And the, the, co- the comments we were making is these things tend to linger, right? They pick up the black box. It turns out what they're identifying potentially as a problem is a problem is in all these, I think it's the 737, set, but all these jets. So this is going to be something that, it looks like they'll have to take a while to uh, work through, you know, God only knows the cost of making the changes in all the, you know, mm-hmm. jets that have been sold. Uh, it's just something that looks like it's going to be in the news for a while. And that was a report in the Times over overnight, I guess. So and it was down yesterday. Obviously, someone knew that that was going to come out. But mm. just be aware of this when any you know, when you're looking at these deals, oh, isn't, that, isn't your- that considered insider trading, my friend? When somebody knows ahead of time, and obviously somebody knew because the thing stopped, you know, dives ahead of time. Where's the SEC when that happens? Am I just on a a government kick this morning, dude? But where is the the SEC when that stuff happens, man? Why don't you make – you should make a report today. (laughs) I I agree. I I would report that. They should look at the – you know, they they should go look at, you know, the trades. Let's see – I wonder if there was any, we'll go to the post, see if there was any unusual option activity yesterday. No. I mean, here was a big spread that traded a couple days ago. Uh, well, actually, it was back in October. That was a, so, a- anyways, you know, you're, you're, you're probably right. You are probably <laughs> right. I did have one last thing to say. Do we have time for that before yeah, we got to run? Yeah, yeah. This uh, oil trade, again, it's, uh, and it, it depends on where your thesis is and what you've what you've built in your head, the story you're building. But to me, I think the market's getting ahead of itself at, as a slope. You know, this basically is, I think, people saying the market's slowing down. 
There's less of a demand in China for oil. We'll see if that works out. Obviously, if that's the case, this could go lower. Uh, my feeling is people are getting ahead of themselves. We had a good earnings season. Uh, it may not be the time to get in right now, but uh, I, I, you know, I looked at this strategy payout. Uh, I was looking at the risk reversal, get in long, the 25 delta call. I'm going to do it further out, actually. We'll do January 220, gives you some time. And I was going to take the 25 delta call and the put and, and look at that. Reload the diagram. I think I took a credit, a 44 cent credit. So just uh, keep an eye on the oil. It's, it's down at you know, near its 52 week low levels. Uh, I mean, if you believe its economy is slowing down and we're, you know, a quarter, two quarters, a year away from a recession, this is something you probably don't want to do. Right. But if you think the next earnings cycle is going to be as good as this previous one, uh, this could be a, a reasonable play. Interesting. All right, brother. Dang, tons of good stuff today, man. I got notes we, up and notes and notes and notes. Lots of good we stuff, try, man. We try. Everybody remember, you can see our uh, website right there, marketchameleon.com, if you want to follow along with Will and uh, you access the same data and analytics. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter at marketchameleon with a super weird abbreviation. <laughs> well, that, you telling that's me actually, Market Chameleon wasn't available on Twitter? Somebody had already grabbed that it, and you couldn't it, buy it, it for like 20 bucks? It, wa it wasn't. <laughs> we probably should have. We probably can't now. And you're not following me, by the way. There, you're, you're actually you're following. following the, actually, you're following the chameleon. The chameleon. The chameleon's on the treadmill, sending, <laughs> sending out information. I mean, that chameleon gets a workout. And, <laughs> information uh, and news all day long, man. All day you, long. You can follow me at I Trade Vol. Yeah, there you if go. You, man. If you want to follow me on Twitter. All right, everybody. All right, have brother. a great day trading. Stay safe out there. Thanks for joining us.